Have you ever reached a point in your life where you feel stuck? You cannot see the wood for the trees. You don't know which way to turn and anxiety, panic and fear is a constant companion in your life. If this is you, you want to listen to this. My name's Kazia Luckett, positive psychologist, author and coach. So today I want to talk to you about not being able to know the next step feeling stuck, not knowing where to go and how to get out of the situation you find yourself in. So I guarantee that if I was to ask you, what is it that you want right now, you wouldn't be able to answer me. But if I was to change that and ask you to write a list of all the things that you don't want at this moment in time, I reckon that that list would be a hundred miles long. This is where you're going to start when you're stuck. Take some time, get a piece of paper, draw a line through the middle on the left hand side, write down all the things that you definitely do not want at this moment. So why is it that it's easier for your brain to focus on the negative rather than the positive? Well, you have something called a negativity bias in your brain. It's an outdated survival mechanism that has been designed to keep you safe. However, when you're feeling stuck, it tends to put you in a cycle of repeat that you just can't get out of. You're looking for danger. You're looking for all the things that could potentially go wrong so that you can prepare and be ready for them. Now you know this, let's get back to our list. Now you have your list of all the things that you do not want at this moment in time that are keeping you stuck. Now we're going to flip it on the reverse and we're going to look at what would the reverse of that thing look like? Once you write the the opposite to what it is that you don't want from a positive perspective, I really would like you to tap into the feeling of what it is that you actually want. So you can start to embed it through every fiber of your being because there have been scientific studies that show that the brain does not and cannot tell the difference between visualization and the actuality of acting out what it is that you're visualizing. So drop a note in the comments and let me know how you're getting on. How was your list when you wrote down all the things that you did not want? And how did it feel to actually focus on the opposite of that and actually start to reimagine and re-engage with something more positive to focus on in the future? I'm going to be back soon, but until then, follow for more information and I look forward to speaking to you soon.